What can be done with a peatland when extraction is finished? There are many alternatives and the choices are based on the height of the water table, the thickness and quality of the remaining peat, the general needs of the community and local and national policy. After use policies vary from country to country. In the United Kingdom and Germany, restoration is the preferred option, whereas in developing countries, the need to feed the population may dictate an agricultural afteruse. In Finland, planting trees is the most common option. In Canada, the major focus is on restoring the site to a functioning peatland ecosystem that supports the regrowth of sphagnum moss. In order to restore a bog, what we've found is you leave a thick layer of peat up to a yard or more than a yard of thickness and you level the peat off so that it, it isn't sloped at all. Then what you do is you find sphagnum moss, growing sphagnum moss on a virgin bog and you chop about five to six inches of that, mulch it all up and spread it across this harvested bog. Once you've done that you introduce uh, straw mulch to it and that straw mulch then just holds the moisture in and keeps the spores from being overheated. In Germany, the goal at nearly all cutaway peatlands is to create favorable conditions for peatland vegetation and wildlife. The first step is to raise the water level by filling in the field ditches. This process is called rewetting which leads to the phase called renaturation. In Germany and Denmark, peat is extracted from peatlands that were once used for agriculture. When the peat is gone, they can be converted into wetlands with natural peatland habitat. In some peatlands in Ireland, the subsoil is alkaline. The after-use choice under these circumstances has been to cultivate farm crops or establish grazing lands for cattle. Bog bottoms are well suited for such after-use because they lack stones and the ground is quite level. Recently in Ireland, cut-over peatlands have been flooded creating wetlands that have become successful bird sanctuaries favoured by many different species. It is likely that in the future more wilderness areas, both wetland and dryland, will be created in Ireland and fewer cutaway peatlands will be converted to agriculture. The same scientists and engineers who previously invented special techniques for using peatlands for agricultural purposes and helped drain the peatlands are now using their skills to plan and implement environmentally friendly after use. In Finland, where forestry plays a key role in the national economy, trees will be planted on most of the cutover peatlands. Practice has shown that pine and birch thrive on slightly tilled and fertilized bog bottoms. One of the advantages of planting trees is that they absorb CO2, which partly compensates for the CO2 released when peat was extracted. An alternative to forestry is to create a shallow lake from a cutover peatland, especially where the water table is too high to plant trees. This afteruse is generally preferred by the local population in regions with a lot of peatlands and only a few lakes. The afteruse of cutover and cutaway peatlands becomes more and more important as extraction ends on numerous peatlands in Europe and North America. For this reason, more money is being invested in research to develop the best after-use methods. The Canadian peat industry has spent more than $3 million doing restoration research to find the best ways to restore peatland after it's been harvested. In the past, peatlands have been allowed to regenerate naturally with varying degrees of success. The sooner the after-use conversion is started, the sooner the landscape will develop into its new form and provide benefits for the environment. <laughs>